Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you guys so much. Again, still, I don't have the light for the good viewing or whatever, but <clears throat> it's not about me anyways. Um, also, lovely, uh, one of our lovely family members sent us the super cool they actually came on monday i just haven't had a chance to actually like get them out and do anything with them but it's this the crystal bible set how cool is that so now before i come on with a crystal i don't have to be like i don't know what crystal this is maybe you can guess <laughs> now i can know oh shit sorry I promise I'll take care of them. I know it didn't look like that just now, but I will. Okay, anyways, thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. Love you, girl. Okay, um, so here we go. 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 What is it that you need to know? I'm feeling like this Van Bergini thing is going to become a almost maybe I don't know you know every time I speak on something the divine's like yeah you thought you know <laughs> or it's the ops I don't know so I'm not gonna speak on to it but um you know I just I just do what I'm told uh you know so anyways here we go all right and and for anyone that's wondering I do what I'm told by God <laughs> Anyone else? I'm not listening. <laughs> Is that how it's supposed to be? I think so. Hold on. Cutting your nail. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what it is that you need to know. So, uh, you know what? We've been talking about these major shifts, but I'm telling you, I can, I can, I can just, I can fucking feel it. And some of you, there's a major change in direction, but it's more aligned with your authenticity. You may not see this yet. It's going to present itself to you. Um, and I just feel like it's going to be very exciting, but everything that you have done up to this point, um, is like has led you to this right like it's it's brought you to this point here okay yeah all right yeah there are some things that are coming to an end But it's like making way for this, like these like new beginnings here. Okay. Also, I don't know why, but lately I've been feeling really guided to talk about um, the buttercream that I make, uh, that I have for sale on the website. It's called I Love Me Buttercream. Um... And it has a eucalyptus citrus scent, but I don't know if you know, but like, so your skin being like the largest organ in your body, it's really important. It actually is very helpful to your nervous system to, um, like, uh, put some sort of like buttercream or like, you know, sunscreen or whatever, um, it, you know, that, that motion of kind of, it, it provides a safe, um, energy it, it brings like peace and it's it's a form of self-love so anyways um uh, I won't lie I'm kind of personally obsessed with it I'm biased but um if anyone else has received like a sample and you want to like leave a comment or if you've received um if you've purchased it and you want to express how you feel about it whether it be like you know, give your honest review about it, right? Um, I will absolutely, because, you know, it is a work in progress. You know, I'd say that I, over the last year of me creating this product, I feel like it's gotten better, but, um, 
anyways i don't know why i just it's so random just a random little thing that i just wanted to put in there uh <laughs> if if you're looking for a new um moisturizer okay um it's made with all natural products um you know um anyways all right moving forward sorry i'm sorry that you know sorry if you didn't want to hear it but i felt guided to to talk about it here okay so what else here i really should be more comfortable with like announcing that stuff marketing and things like that um and for whatever reason i just am i'm working on it i'm getting there <laughs> And that might be significant for other people as well, right? I know a lot of you are kind of on this mission or on this journey of possibly like creating your own, creating your own products or your own business or your own, you know what I mean? Whatever it may be. So, um, there's something about maybe some of you are like moving through, maybe gaining some sort of confidence um, in order to advertise or like something like that, there could be some sort of like outside confirmation that just really makes you feel good. You know what I mean? It's like, man, you know, and that might help you. I do feel like there could be some sort of communication that comes through. Um, and this could be, you know, like I said, it could be like somebody I didn't say, but <laughs> I don't know why I said, like I said, but it could be somebody that is, um, you know, random on the street or, uh, you know, like a complete stranger or somebody that's like an acquaintance or, I don't know, but I feel like you may get some sort of communication here that is, um, that just, I don't know, it helps, it, it builds your confidence in some sort of way here. Okay, somebody is viewing you in this very soft light, though. Um, there's kind of this energy collective where I feel like you're the the energy that you're radiating is not necessarily. It is a very soft, divine energy, um, very calm. Maybe even uh, the word mysterious keeps coming through. Um, but it's almost like you're, you're really, you're, you're stepping out more so out of survival. Like it, it could have been that maybe like before there were some like walls that were up or like there was a more like, I don't want to say like rough energy that we, that you were giving, but it could have been like, right. Or like, say if you're a divine feminine, you were giving a more masculine energy and or vice versa. Right. But there's this energy of really stepping into either your divine feminine or your divine masculine energy and it's like it's it's really like kind of radiating just that divine okay I feel like you're very attractive right now okay and I mean like energetically but also possibly like physically yeah Again, I feel like there is a shift and change uh, coming for you, possibly, in, in like, in, in drive towards something that is, um, you know, in focus towards something that is I don't want to say, like, I, here's what I feel like. I feel like you, whatever you've been doing, it's like you've been in purpose up until like this shift in this change. And it's almost like your purpose is shifting or it's evolving or it's gaining another branch. They're showing me the deer again. Um, actually, I wish that I wasn't recording on my phone. So I'll post this picture of this like super, I think I can post it. I may not have saved it. But then I saw this, I saw this post of a deer that it was actually, it had it, the, the moon, I think, or maybe it was the sun. I don't know. In between its horns, uh, or his, 
you guys educated me on this and I I don't remember. So sorry. Um it was a cool picture though. Okay, moving forward. They're not horns, they're antlers. I'm sorry, I'm going to be so messed up about that now because now I feel guilty for not remembering. Oh, here comes the little feet. Jasper's chasing a cat. I mean, Jasper's chasing a mouse. Perfect, let him get it. I'm going to try to keep it alive and put, and put it in the hole. No. Bro. I want the rat to live. I don't want to see a dead rat on the middle of the couch. You, you, you won't, man. You won't. But hey. We've been trying to catch this mouse. And I've really been hoping that Jasper will catch it. <laughs> Because usually he catches them and takes care of them for me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Michael's so sweet. I don't want him to die. Whatever, man. Um, Yeah, this mouse, there, it's like, uh, he's a tricky one. He is a tricky little guy okay also if you want to judge me for the fact that there's a mouse in my house you know what you can just go somewhere because <laughs> I, I don't know what to do there's like <laughs> i've done everything anyways it doesn't matter okay because I, I really don't care what you think to be completely honest with you um it is what it is i have a very clean house okay <laughs> Um, anyways, moving forward. Okay, so, yeah, there's, like, this, there's this energy that I feel like you're sweeping away. Okay, again, this, like, ending here. Um, honestly, it's probably an ending with a, within some sort of perception. But I also feel like for some of you, it is actually something in the physical. Okay, um, and this is going to kind of, um... This is, this may actually bring in somebody who wants to help, like, guide you in some type of way or wants to help, maybe they have some sort of experience in something that you're doing or, like, it could be some sort of collabor collaboration. Um, but there's some sort of like, um, but, uh, but also I feel like, uh, this ending is, is helping you to attract whatever this new, new alignment is. Now, I don't want you to think that this is like major, like it doesn't feel as though, like I said, it's almost just like, um, like an addition to or like uh but it's like maybe your main focus is changing but there I don't know I don't for all of you it's going to be different but but this could this midsummer card is like haunting <laughs> the readings I swear so there's this energy of like uh midsummer okay uh, we have prosper, progress, and cultivate here, okay? Um, it really has been all up in here, all right? <laughs> this this fine-looking fella, okay? <laughs> um, that could also be significant, too. There could be a fine-looking fella that's all up in your energy, right? That may be watching you or something like that, okay? You, this, may per this person may come forward. Um, you know, midsummer, um, we have stability, we have higher consciousness, we have mojo, we have legacy, we have end and magnetize here, okay? Okay. 
again, there's something about, um, I feel like you are either currently in a very stable place, okay, or like, um, or you're going to be in a very stable place in order to expand. Okay. It's possible too that there is another connection that's coming to an end. I, you know, I, I feel like as you're ending a connection, there's somebody else that's also ending a connection. And I don't, I, it's like, I don't think that there's any, and if you're not ending a connection, you're, you're just releasing any type of like emotional you know, crumbs that may have been left from a connection that could have been karmic or could have been painful, whether that be romantic or platonic, family, whatever it is here, okay? I, I feel like th there's this mirroring energy, okay? Somebody may come forward to you. There's also something significant possibly about the winter time. There could be a lot of travel in the winter time. Hmm. Look, two of cups. I feel like somebody sees where your your focus is here. Three of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers. Yeah, the, there's there is a third party that's being removed here, okay? And again, some of you literally like I, I I feel like if you're not removing a third party like in the physical there's some sort of emotional the release that's happening with this um but some of you you may know this person that's releasing a third party it may surprise you to find out who this person is because they could just be releasing this third party through their own intuition right? Like they could just be, they could just feel like, okay, this is like come to an end, right? Like this is like, you know what I mean? Like there's just, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like there's no growth here. There's nothing that was really happening. Maybe, maybe they don't really have anything in common. Maybe it was just like an attraction and, and nothing ever came from it. I don't know. I don't know what this is, right? You, you li quite literally may not know this person, um, and you may, you know, some of you are going to be surprised as to who this person is, right? You may be aware of it, but you may be trying to figure it out and you may actually be way off and you may be completely surprised. So for all of you, it's really going to be different. Okay. Um, some of you, you do know exactly who the fuck this is. Okay. And, and, you know, I feel like whoever it is though, th it, there's a reason that you both are releasing these energies around the same time and it's because you are meant to come together so if 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 there's somebody that you're thinking of that you don't want it's not them you're gonna want this person whoever this is okay it's if it if if the first person that comes to mind is somebody that you know that you do not want to be with then this this isn't your reading <laughs> okay <laughs> You're going to want this person, okay? 
because I feel like there's this energy of, you know, maybe you both have something different to bring to the table, right? Maybe you have this higher consciousness, consciousness, and this person has some sort of physical stability, right? You have this spiritual stability, you know, emotional, mental, and not to say that this person also doesn't have that, but I feel like it's, there's this energy of a balance that's coming between the two of you right um you bring different things to the table here so that you can like grow and evolve and you know what i mean together but it feels like you know it makes me feel like you know this person is also possibly building their own legacy here and again keep in mind like legacy really comes down to how you make people feel at the end of the day it's your legacy is how you make people feel. Okay. Um, but this person is it, like, I feel like maybe they're in some sort of, um, humanitarian work or like, uh, charity work, uh, or like, um, I don't know, something, right. They, they somehow they, they certainly, try to make sure that they are giving to others here okay in some type of way they're they're building their own empire as well okay some of you you're not necessarily building an empire right you're just you're just it's it's just your I, I wouldn't even say that you're focused on a legacy um but this is kind of there's a there's it's just kind of happening here like, there's this energy of, like, being known for the way that you make people feel for some of you, okay? Probably for all of you, if this message is resonating here. Okay, so tell me more. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Judgment, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. Huh. Okay. All right, tell me more. What's this in? Magnetize. Yeah, this person is going to be invested, but I feel like also that, like, the, you know, this the current energy could be that this person's really thinking about, um... like their current situation. You know what I mean? They're just really kind of reflecting, analyzing. Like, is this what, is this, you know, am I where I want to be? Is this really what I want? You know, type of energy. King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. The Fool. I just, I do. I feel like they are... Um, And it could be that, you know, especially with this higher consciousness here, right? Um, it, you know, you could be different than this person's normal type, right? You could do different things. You could be, you know, <laughs> you could be a little taboo, right? Especially if you're here watching this, right? You could be, um, you know, I just, I feel like it's like Christ, uh, consciousness here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like, again, I feel like this person, you know, there's, there's, I feel like this person probably is the one that brings the stability. Not that you're stable, but I feel like this person is very well, they have a, they have a very solid foundation under them. Right. Uh, they've been working on a physical empire, whereas you've been possibly working on, 
you know, um, uh, but there's this energy with the, with the nine of cups here and the ace of swords, right? There's, I feel like this person is seeing, um, you know, again, with this black sheep here, it's like this person is seeing, uh, the truth about, um, what it is that they do desire here. Whether, again, whether or not they know you or not, it feels like they're being possibly honest with themselves. Um, about, like, what, what it is that they want here, okay? What it is that they desire. Like, what is my wish fulfillment? Because there is, it just, it, it's not that I, I, you know, this energy, it almost makes me feel like it's not that they're, like completely miserable in whatever this is that they're currently in it just makes me feel like it's like they're they're not really fulfilled right it's it's not really panning out how they want it like they're not um in love like they would like to be right like they know exists you know what i'm saying it's almost like it's it's moved into a situation where you know whatever they're in it's just this like day-to-day, -day, uh, almost like if I'm hearing roommates, so this person could actually live with this person, okay? Uh, but it could feel like roommates. Um, it, you know, it could feel more like friends. It could feel like just going along with the motions here, okay? But I feel like there's this energy I keep hearing of like just being completely honest with themselves, yeah this person is a boss i'm gonna tell you that okay <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to some divine feminines, to be honest with you. This person is a boss. They may have their own business. They may, you know, um, but yeah, this is like somebody that's like kind of bored in the situation that they're in. They may actually offer you some sort of, um, you know, position or they may offer you some sort of. You know, if this is, you know, if they, if they have like a actual business in which, you know, there's like positions open or something, I, I don't know that they're going to offer you a position or if they are going to, um, you know, there's kind of this energy of wanting to maybe get closer or get to know you a little bit better before they even maybe even lead on to like what they're thinking. Now, a lot of you are going to pick up on this energy because you're tapped in. Okay, and the divine saying, just just let this person kind of get to know you at their own pace, in their own way, and vice versa, right? Uh, but honestly, like, you know, you're going to be able to pick up on this person's energy. I do feel like this person probably is also an empath, but they may just, I, they maybe they're not quite aware of that or like maybe they don't know exactly what that is or Yeah, I feel like they see you as a very generous person, or they will see you as that here. And I feel like this person is also very generous. They, there's this very compassionate energy, right? This is somebody who is not... 
they don't like play games. They don't like, um, yeah, this is somebody who's very much in their divine energy here. What's this, um, Mojo and Legacy, please? Yeah, they could currently be with this, like, Queen of Wands energy, right? Who may be very attractive, who may be very confident, who may be very, um, you know, mystical or magical in her own right. But the thing is, is I feel like this person, it, it, again, I feel like they're maybe feeling a little bit burdened by this connection simply again because it, it's not that I feel like this person is you know maybe this queen of wands has caused some burdens but it makes me feel like they they're going to it's like releasing this energy and finding you the empress mm -hmm. they could have thought that this person was the empress you know um But it's like, you know, the Empress is like all of the queens, right? There's just, I'm, I'm hearing like, the, maybe she just doesn't check all of the boxes, you know? And it just, it makes me feel like there's this energy where this person may recognize whenever you meet or if this person sees you already, they may just like, be like, okay, well, you know, this Empress is really checking all the boxes here. Right. But there's this energy of also understanding and knowing, you know, um, <clears throat> that, you know, it it takes time to get to know somebody. You don't really know somebody until, you know, you know them. Right. Um, that seems silly to say it like that, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I also feel like, too, there's this energy, um, collective, again, you're, like, um, releasing some sort of, like, overthinking or anxiety that you possibly had going on here around a situation. It could also be that you're releasing somebody who is predominantly in this Nine of Swords energy, right? Really kind of emotionally disconnecting from this person. Um, and maybe this kind of putting a lock on something in the past here, right? And this is bringing in some balance, but the, it's almost like there's going to be this very sudden shift, right? In which maybe you were feeling very burdened and then all of a sudden you're going to feel like this empress, right? Um, that, that energy may shift in you very quickly here, okay? So I feel like there's a lot going on, right? I feel like um, while these things are shifting and changing within you, I also feel as though there's this energy of somebody else who is like, you know, and this isn't somebody who would like, Again, I don't feel like they're necessarily, like, leaving somebody for somebody else. I just feel like they're discontent, they're uh, bored, or, like, they're not happy, right? And it's not for a lack of trying. I just think it's it's just two people that are not necessarily aligned, right? We have a King of Pentacles with the Emperor. That makes me feel like that's the same, the same person here. And then with a Queen of Wands. Somebody that's really kind of, um, looking for an empress, that in which I think that you are here. Yeah, it's almost like, um.
the moon, the tower, Oh, there could be some, um, I feel like maybe also too, there could be some things that are kind of like th this person could be showing maybe a little bit of their true colors here, right? This, um, five of cups, nine of wands, right? The, um, there's, I feel like there are some things that were hidden here. But they, they're no longer hidden, maybe about this fem, this other feminine energy, right? There's some sort of tower um, that's really showing that, that whoever this person is, right? While they, while they kind of, um, you know, they show up in this Queen of Wands, this very confident, this very, um, you know, attractive, very almost... Um, you know, like sexy energy, right? There is this, it's like there possibly was a tower moment in which, um, there's this five of cups, nine of wands. Like maybe this person had some sort of anger problems or like there was some sort, maybe they, you know, uh, suffered from depression or like, and no hate or no shade, right? These are all things that are part of the shadow, but they are things that, that like, um, that this person pretended like maybe they had some sort of control over, or it's just like, they didn't show these things. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, this is somebody that pretends that everything is okay. Um, when in reality, you know, maybe they suffer from, um, again, it, it, there's this energy of like sadness or anger or you know, whatever. And so this eight of wands, yeah, this person is like, I should probably go. <laughs> I got to get out of here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that makes a hell of a lot of sense here. Um, I keep hearing I used to be down bad, but now I'm feeling okay. What's that song? Yeah, I feel like that's possibly your energy, right? Um, like you, you, I don't know, maybe this person has watched you grow in some sort of way, or again, some of you, you don't even know this person, right? Um, they're just currently escaping from it. It's like your person. Okay. The divine is just telling you like, Hey, you, if you're still attached to, or still, emotionally releasing an old energy, um, you know, or whatever, it's time to really kind of like wrap that up or, or whatever, right? Like things may be coming up about that because like your person is, is, um, escaping some sort of other energy, right? And, um, not that you would miss this opportunity that I don't think the divine would let that happen, you know? Um, but yeah, this person, you know, Nine of Pentacles, that's single. Single, single, single. Single like a Pringle. Could be an air sign. Or this person is very logical. I feel like also they might be very smart. They could have a lot of book smarts. They could also be very, very intuitive here. Whoa. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Sorry. Uh, 
excuse me. Such a lady. This, this person, this feminine energy with the Queen of Wands, right? Like, they could have been also some sort of, like, practitioner or some sort of, like, magician or something like that. I don't know. Or they could have been... There's... Um, this is a different energy, actually, I feel like. I'll ask us some more on this, because I feel like... Or this person could have maybe choices, right? Maybe this person already walked away from this person. They could also be, again, burdened. Like, maybe they're feeling like, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe they're very aware of your gifts. And they could be, like, worried about that for whatever reason. You know, this person doesn't just leap into things. This is somebody that's going to date you. This is somebody that is going to take their time. We have the Ten of Cups here the lovers yeah there there really is a connection here that's coming to an end right they're they're like you know they're walking away and I feel like also too you're releasing something as well Another big thing that you're releasing or you're being protected from is a lack mentality. There's also this energy, too, of somebody maybe defending you in a, in a conversation or in a situation. There could have, like, there's something, there's somebody or something here that can't lie about you anymore. Nope. No, they can't. This person may be defending you. So this person may know, like, uh, may know an ex of yours, or they may, you know what I mean? Like, maybe they, uh, know somebody that knows somebody, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> somehow they could, for some of you, they do have access to you somehow. But for some reason, I feel like also, too, right? Like, they, there could have been some lies in the past. But with Seven of Swords reverse, like, this is, the truth is out. Somebody may be, like, defending you here. Or 
Wowzers. Tell me this came so it's 70 cups. Yeah, this could be somebody that maybe lives in your community here, okay, or they live in your area. Or like I said, they're, they're somebody that they, they could have choices, right? They could be thinking about their choices. What's this? Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups. But I'm telling you, it's like, I feel like, yeah, the lovers. Why is the Ten of Wands here, though? The moon. There's this energy of um, releasing these burdens and really stepping into this King of Wands energy, you or this person, okay, by doing some sort of shadow work, okay? But also this, there, they, again, there could have been somebody that was is very emotionally imbalanced. This was very burdensome for this person. Right. They, I feel like they, you know, they just, they could have like really held, <sighs> held this person at a high standard or at a, you know, on some sort of pedestal. But the more that they, you know, there's just this very emotionally imbalance in this person, right? They could have a lot of jealousy or a lot of envy or a lot of, I heard rage, a lot of, um, you know, just just like really high emotions, right? Like unable to handle certain situations, maybe even like they could be like rude to people or like just very like stuck up in some instances. I don't know. I don't know. But this has caused this person a lot of burdens here. Magician leadership. Yeah. And that could be like interfering with, you know, again, I feel like this person, they could be working a lot or, um, it makes me feel like they worked really hard to get where they are here. Um, but also you too, you know what I mean? Like I, there's some sort of evidence of some sort of, yeah, look, we have hard work. There's some sort of evidence, uh, tower card, two of wands. There's been some sort of insight here. Okay. Or some sort of planning for some sort of balance here, a new cycle, um, It feels like it's like they've worked really hard to get where they are and to just like go along with whatever situation that they're in doesn't seem right to them. It's, it's not sitting well with them, right? That's where these, and so somebody's like, you know, taking some sort of action to like take lead, take charge to handle this, right? Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Emperor. Like to step up here. We have the High Priestess in reverse. Why is this High Priestess in reverse? Who this? Who it is? Yeah, this could be that person that they're with here. Two of Cups. I just 
turn. Holy shit. <laughs> you're not very pretty. And you're not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the Cinderella story, right? Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is Nine of Cups. And the Fool in Reverse. Six of Wands. Yeah, they didn't take some sort of leap of faith on, you know, I don't know. Maybe this person was pressuring them to move in or... Um, There's also this energy, too, where, like I said, like, or maybe somebody was talking about, like, your intuition not being, you know, you not being the high priestess here, right? And that that is a, that it is false, right? Or saying that you are, but this person is now defending you, okay? Because there, it's like this energy of, like, maybe there was some sort of, um, you know, somebody could have been saying with the fool in reverse, you know, that, that you're not, you know, you're not, you know, you're not very pretty and you're not very bright, right? If this is somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows you, right? If this person knows you, right? Um, you know, but there's this energy of like this person, again, defending you here because some, something, some sort of lie or some sort of misunderstanding or something like that um you know it's, it's it's exposed it is it is like seven of swords in reverse it is officially exposed here right and you're coming out on top of whatever this is yeah So, anyways, Collective, I'm going to leave that there. Um, but that's what I have for you. I hope this is helpful. I love you so very much. I love you, I love you, love you. Be well.